Here's the thing. The price of pizza is actually one of the axes on the demand curve for pizza. Here's how the demand curve really is made in the real world. If you were Pizza Hut and if you wanted to find your demand for pizza, you're probably just going to have to call people up in a survey and ask them, hey, how many slices of pizza would you want if this was a price? How many would you want if this was a price? How many would you want if this was a price? So really, this demand curve is the different quantities that people would buy based on different prices of your good. So if all that's happening is the price of your pizza is lowered, that's just a different point on this same demand curve that you've already made. So a change in the price of your good, yeah, you will buy more pizzas if it's a lower price, but that's on the same curve. That's called a change in quantity demanded, not a change in demand. A change in demand is the whole curve shifting. A change in quantity demanded is a movement along this curve, which happens if the price of that good changes. So what type of things then would cause a change in demand? What would cause the entire curve 